Hello there everyone and welcome back to Vanilla Hearts of Iron Form your host, Mr. Talon Lover, but it's January 2nd, 1939, and we need to go to war with a couple of uh, other individuals, if I do say so myself. And hopefully we can do okay. They're attacking us, we attack them, you know. Um or I guess we're war the Philippines now too, because we love the Philippines. Uh, we should do okay. I don't think America has... Uh, they have up to 86 divisions, maybe max. But overall... I mean, obviously they're going to have a ton of manpower and whatnot. We should do okay. we got some comps to go through as well. I'm going to have the tanks just do whatever they want to pretty much at this point. And for 1939... Do some of this. Sunken American Convoy, which is pretty nice. Making a little bit of headway already, which is pretty good. Um, my main goal is just to push as hard as we can into here. And uh, pretty much destroy them all as much as possible. Yeah, we do well, we do well, we don't, we don't, so... Wow, we are struggling here. Of course, our divisions can't really pierce them either, but whatever. Um, the main goal is to take out New England. New England's probably the biggest goal for us right now, um, overall. So, Any more divisions we can destroy, the better. So, and we struggle, we struggle. So, um, Okay, they all join this certain block, all right, whatever. Do what you can around here. Oh, they want to sink their stuff, don't they? Yes, they do. Go right there and cut these couple divisions off. We just finished security militias. Detailing frontline troops for rear area security. As well as good soldiers. Which should form uh, used specifically for guarding the rear of the army to free up more soldiers for fighting for the enemy. For fighting the enemy. We're going to need some manpower immediately. Um, we're not going to get any more focuses down for now. We need that manpower. Death of the Pope. Oh, new Pope shall be made. So, but Dino's doing okay for now. Um, yeah, we're going to lose a lot of guys. 31,000. They've lost more for now, which is pretty decent. They're going to lose more, as you can tell, too. But to get Bangor, that'd be nice. Come on. Um, obviously, I'm not really paying attention to a lot of the front here. My main concern is just holding this area to a degree. Uh, how do we do that? As long as we take out New England, because that's where most of their soldiers are at. Or most of their VPs are really are at, even though it's spread across all the nation. Get down to Baltimore, to Washington. And let's mobilize a little more. We're going to need a good service bar requirement. And um, I think I read some of these before. Uh, Stony. Then we'll go with this one. Well, we have enough steel as is already. I mean, it doesn't really matter. This one probably. Power plants attorney. The current power plants attorney are insufficient and need to be expanded if we want to develop the region into an even bigger industrial hub. Pretty much. Just spread. We're in the Midwest already, which is great. Ooh. Come up and take all the VPs if possible. We're gonna struggle a lot, but you know, whatever. Um, anything here, anything here, no, no, no. That's okay. Corfu, over oh, here too. Start rating. Uh, I guess we're there. Switch to convoy rating as well. Ooh, again, circle, that's not good. As we're slowly spreading out. Where are all these divisions going? Like, bro, seriously. What the heck? They really need to redo this whole thing. That this that makes it way too freaking difficult. Um, to really get stuff done and organized. You're not going to kill them off. Because now, as you see, even though we're spreading out a little bit more. Let's do it there. That'll help you out quite a bit more. There you go. Uh, we're still struggle here. We're gonna probably lose that division, but yeah, it's gonna be one heck of a time. Um, we're just fighting these guys, which we are definitely struggling, but you know whatever. Hoping he's gone, it's fine, whatever. And we lost that division, which sucks. But we'll get him. Um, yeah, we'll, we will definitely. Well, get him. after redoing this now, finally, um, America's not doing so well. Here are the couch D's. It's looking a little better for us than we faded and faded out. I already did this, like I said. Um, but overall, not bad. We do have some comments to go through, such as. You need to convene the Grand Council to dispose Mussolini before we declare war on France. Otherwise, the need of Mussolini's popularity will be too high and will be locked out of focuses. Which, you know, it's true. That's why we did it as well at the beginning of this episode. So we have Dino here, of course. Um, and it was only 45%, which is kind of weird. Um, so, oh well. All the military parade, praise the army. Uh, I did raise the conscription level again. Uh, other than that, overall, it's got, it was a lot better. Make sure we have our strategic attacks and whatnot. So, um, yeah. Totally doable by, I guess, by the end of 
1939, whatever, but, you know. I'm not sure why they keep attacking. Dawn of the Asian Confederacy, huh? It's weird. It's getting, this world is getting weird. Uh, we're okay. I don't want to join anybody else. If you're new, this is going to please go ahead, but... Um, Super uh, Aerial. They have a small group of planes flying here and there long gone. A modern air campaign is in many ways similar to complexity in any land-based undertaking. As such, we need a specialized planning staff to coordinate our various squadrons looking to act together to accomplish our missions. Looking not too bad. Casualties? Not bad. Wait, America's about to capitulate. We didn't even need the West Coast, really. Not bad. Um, well, I guess we'll keep the train on going. You guys are still struggling all over the place here, but that's alright. What else is new? Take the horses. Uh, where are y'all going? Go right there. Should be able to finish this up by the end of August, right? Go to LA. Go to Yucatan. Navy stuff. Not bad. Um, we're out of guns. We've actually been able to get a lot more guns since we've been at war, which is actually really nice. So for aerial, uh, dive bombing, Castle Morsher specialization. Tries with mine will never be able to match the bigger powers of raw output. The only way can compete in the air is by building better planes than anyone else. Each of them must be able to win a fight even without number from three to one or so. Messi's boot. Are we almost done with the war? I mean, 99% you think they'd be done. But you know what? I have been wrong before. Yeah, we got a lot of resistance here. Uh, just the desert's hot. If we get San Diego, that should be enough. Doesn't make sense, well there's like no BBs around here too. And we should take it, right? There we go, yep. I was right. I don't have any guns left, which is pretty nice. Oh, I'll take the USA Navy as well. Might as well. And the Philippines. Thank you, sirs. Well, we got plenty of map now. Guns are looking not too bad too. Well, it's Mexican time. So I think at this point, we might just do a time lapse maybe of us just trying to take out pretty much everybody else in the world. Corfu Cooperative? Huh. Um, what's this up here? The Asian Confederacy, the SSSR. Um, looking pretty good so far. Uh, the Dutch people though. So I don't know if we'll make a world conquest, but you know, we'll see what we can get into, what we can get up to. So we'll see after we read a couple more of these. Dive bombing. The topic of close air sports gained considerable importance in the military circles. While planes have long been used to drop bombs, it appears that several countries have started to develop specialized planes that can place a bomb unmatched, with unmatched action from diving from high altitude. Why don't you know if they all produce such a plane in time? There are other countries that have designs for this very purpose. Regenes, uh, Regenes exports. The companies developed a series of quite capable fighter planes that have caught the attention of foreign military seeking to modernize the Air Force. If we should allow them to export their planes, the experience gained from modifying the base design so diff two different specializations would no doubt be quite valuable for our own development projects. Role of the service, uh, officers of the service role. So long as sufficient to simply take officers from the army and teach them how to fly, our Air Force requires a new breed of officer, one that was raised and mowed about the service instead of merely by adopting it. Um, naval power projection, view of this, please good head, expanding of facilities. A first class Navy does not need just a strong battle fleet, but also the ports of dockyards to support it. By investing in our naval infrastructure, it enables the bases of construction and repair capacities when the war breaks up. Super Marina. Um, a modern operations center should be established for the Rigi of Marina's commander in chief and co coordinate co operations for naval formations throughout the Mediterranean and up beyond. It depends uh, by torpedo manufacturing. The time torpedoes are among the most reliable in the world. Fiume was the birthplace of the torpedo, with a factory there in the Silificio Italiano plant at Naples. We have a good foundation which to further expand the use of this daily weapon, OTO naval guns. It relies on firms of Ansaldo and Odari Tony Orlando for the big guns of its capital ships. By making its target investments of the capacity, we can make their battleships the envy of the world. We help Ethiopia. The options of Ethiopians have long defied and humiliated us. Now that they have finally been brought to heel, we can develop the country and show them that our invasion was for their own good. And now Libya. Libya is our closest a a colony and one with the highest potential. Before we can begin to reap the full rewards of our long hard work and pacify the area, we must improve the infrastructure. Develop Eritrea. Eritrea is our oldest colony in the African continent and easily one of the most valuable. With the exception its excellent strategic position, it can easily be built up to become a coordinator of a colonial empire. We help Somalia land. At first glance, the region of the Horn of Africa does not seem to hold much economic or strategic potential. But a few well placed investments, they can turn the area into a springboard for further advances in the Indian Ocean. Regional developments, our previous investments in the various areas of the empire, have prepared the ground for a major increase in economic output in those regions. We have to but to say the word, and we can reap the rewards in short order. Le Turiano Balbo, the roads in Libya are abysmal, even near the coast. The road network is simply unbefitting a modern country. There is much work to be done. To improve this, including a large highway across the coast, prospect for oil. Our geologists believe there might be a substantial oil reserves lumbering under the Libyan desert. 
which amount of thorough investigation or survey to see if they might be there. Milan's common industry. New field of radio detection and range finding officers. Many opportunities and will doubtless become an important area of military techno technology. Let's ensure that we can keep up with the development in this area. Uh, Brusco Arms Small Arms Factory might have read this, but Italian small arms are famous throughout the world, entire world for the high quality. Let's also ensure that we have sufficient supply of mo most modern types of weapons. I wish to ensure that soldiers can best any enemy in the field, Libyan refineries. With large parts of all oil identified by the Libyan desert, our next step must be to increase their oil refining capacity in the region. Via della Vittoria. Port infrastructure continues to hamper our operations in northern Africa. A bigger effort around a single victory road might address drastically improve the situation and allow us to operate more freely around the Egyptian border. Libyan Railway. Investments in the Libyan rail network are certainly viable, but for large scale movements of troops, resources, and supplies, modern railway network is indispensable. Industria della Goma Sinetetica. Our geographical position in the heart of the MAD makes us uniquely vulnerable to blockade by hostile powers. In order to take our rightful place in the world, we must be able to sustain our industries without foreign imports. Stop us wandering, which I think I read before. Um, if you're going to do that, please go ahead. Reorganize the party. If you're going to do this again, please go ahead as well. Purge the party. Which was a reach our ears that once would. Some would like nothing more than to see the old regime reinstalled, even though Mussolini was also removed from power. The shadow is ever present throughout the government and in the minds of its people. We must make a show of force and purge a party from elements that are not truly loyal to us, but remain devoted to the old DJ, which I uh, will see if I re actually read that or not, but strength of the black shirts. Assault battalions. Our black shirts stand in the way of the proud tradition of the assault groups of the Great War. By integrating them into our army, we'll give them a powerful punch uh, in the combat. Oh. And Milizia Colonial. Must reinforce and expand and fashion militias of black ships with more conscripts from the colonies loyal to the regime, creating not only among the Italian colonists but also among the po local population. The loss creates their numbers significantly, which is pretty good. And the fate of Mussolini. While Mussolini remained under house arrest, we cannot truly move forward with its ever living presence over us. We have secured a position of true power within the party, and so the town is going to decide the fate of the former Duce. And uh, someone else says in the comments, uh, use the expert AI mod, my dude!
All right, everyone. So here's Beast Deal. Um, I guess we didn't take Luxembourg and all, but you know what? I think I'm done with this campaign. We did most of what we need to do. Germany was way tougher than I thought they would be, but um, I did use Cons Commands right now. I have it on, so we're just gonna go like purge to the party real quick. And economic reforms. Economy largely stagnated under the old regime, but with a rejuvenated Partito Nacional Fascista. More than ready to tackle this momentous task ahead of us. Um, we're now free to appoint competent people that are qualified to revitalize the economy. Meritocracy. Having substituted or subdued the opposition within our ranks, we're not free to open up several institutions to members outside of the fascist party. Bring forth new exciting ideas, well, new opportunities as well. That would be interesting. Improve the industries. Well, the reinvigorated economy, we now the resources to turn attention to our industries and that make wide reaching reforms that are as well. A more efficient industry will, of course, translate more equipment reaching our triumphant forces later. Hispanic currency, corporatism. Corporatism is a fundamental idea of fascism and something we should implement in all of our newly acquired territories in the furthest extent possible. To do this, though, we'd have to rely on the local elites and towns and open the door for advancements in the fascist hierarchy. That's an easy way to instill and install loads and efficiency in a new domain. Nice. Spade Mussolini. Uh, but this one, I already figured we will go with a greater purpose. Reduce and stress within the party of showing us the flaws of time that do fascism too close to do any one individual. So we should focus on um, promoting fascism as a greater concept, something that transcends the mortal, mortal life of, of any one person. An idea, for pe an idea for people to rally beyond, spreading the eagle's wings. All around us, other ideologies are crumbling and failing. It seems that only fascism has withstood the onslaught of these turbulent events, but their resilience and even thrived. It's duty to bring the stability to other nations well to bring them to a beacon of light in these dark times. Because, my god, these are dark times. That's not bad. More compliance, growth speed. Italian hegemony. With the war torn world all around us, we must inspire and unite all the different nations of the world, our cultures, and our hegemony. We should show all how fascism in Italy benefits them. We have to lead the way for a brighter future. Which is kind of cool, actually. So now we're like this. Even though the Spanish joined the Brotherhood of Asia, which is led by Japan. I just didn't want. I'm going to end the campaign here because I don't want to fight these guys. I mean, that's a massive amount of people to fight. The central power still exists in Poland down here. Which is kind of weird. But we're looking pretty good over here, too. But the events. Uh, purge. Their initial allies. Influential allies of Mussolini were still in China power. Just why people to influence. Uh, Urgency the Duce. If we maintain our control over the government, we need to set an example and relieve these fools from the positions. Purge. Purge. Spare them all. Purge everybody. We're going to spare them all. Fate Mussolini. Having dealt with the internal power struggle and solidifying a hold on the Partito Nacional Fascista, we can finally turn our attention to the old uh, Duce. Mussolini's ever living presence, of course, as an undetermined position needs to be handled, of course. Let him stand trial, excuse him, or assassinate him. Uh, let's let him stand trial. Let's see what happens after that. Anything interesting? Better anti air, maybe? Um, we should get in a few days, hopefully. And they'll probably call it a campaign. I mean, we did really well here. We're no longer at war with anybody. But, uh, China, no, we're good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to do for this campaign. You know, I didn't do foreign affairs either, but, you know, I'm using consequences right now, anyways. Uh, oh. Uh, the trial of the century is about to begin. When Mussolini stands accused of multiple charges of corruption and treason. Among other things, uh, the law of trial is merely a theater for the public to give their veneer of legitimacy and actual life outcome in their hands. Quit them. Work with, live his life as a free citizen, huh? Let him rob prison would be nice. So we're going to quit him. Um, of course, we can always do that one. Agree to that, please go ahead. I've already done pretty much all these before. Austrian independence. That's different. But I did conquer all, a lot of other nations, so it doesn't make any sense for us to do that as well. It's really his destiny. Eastern threat would be nice, but if you're worried about this one, please go ahead as well as negotiate Italian claims, ratify the stress up front, even though we took out France early on, Italy's destiny, Eastern threat. But I think we're going to end it there. Italy's a lot of fun to play as in, by the, with the Bob Blood Alone DLC, but I'm not sure why China owns Albania. But regardless, I'm not going to ask any more questions. If you enjoyed the campaign, then leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.